Hello everyone and welcome back to Aqua Place Pixelmon. Alright, here we are back at the tower. So, we've got a really awesome team going. We've got Aqua the Umbreon with leftovers, Cloyster with his power weight or whatever that's called. Hey, how held items always get thrown on the ground. Power belt that is slowly increasing its defense all the time. Check out that 161 in defense. Ridiculous. And then Chansey with Leftovers, Moltres, Gliscor, and Rayquaza with Lucky Eggs. We're going to be leveling them up. And yeah, Gliscor has like the best moveset ever to start with. <laughs> I don't even really need to change it. So yeah, I think I'm going to head out and where's a place we could go? I kind of want to look in the extreme hills for a Moltres Shrine. That is over here. Spend a lot of time in the extreme hills, but honestly, it's the best its the best place to train, and that's got the most new Pokemon in it. So, yeah, I really can't complain. So, yeah, I'm just going to go hang out in the extreme hills for a little while. Don't know how long I'll be out there. Phoenix is actually leveling up a lot faster now that I gave him a Lucky Egg. That is helping a lot. So, let's fly over here and see what we find. Uh, since we already uh, generated this area, I don't know if Moltres Shrines can spawn, but I will definitely look around, and I would like to keep looking for new Pokemon while we're at it as well. I see a Bulldore and a Venipede already. There's more Extreme Hills out this way, so I'm going to keep going over here. What is that? Golet? Yep, uh, Golurk is pretty awesome. I want to try out my new Gliscor. I'm a big fan of Gliscor, and Gliscor is very good competitively, so... Yeah, I want to get that going. Let's, uh... Is that a... What is Clink Clang's lower form? Clang, yeah. Go figure. Legendary spawn in the plains biome. What would that even be? With, uh, Moltres' turned off, I don't know what that would be. Maybe, uh, Grudon or... I don't know how to say Kyogre. I call it Kyogre, but <laughs> maybe one of those have spawned here. I would assume Kyogre spawns in, like, the ocean or something. I haven't checked yet. Bisharp's fighting down there. I don't see a Grudon. I would think that would be the only thing that spawns out here. Or wait, did that say plains? We're in an extreme hills. What is that talking about? I don't think there's a plains anywhere near here. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Alright, well, regardless, let's try out our new Gliscor. Against this Clink. So it goes Clink, Clang, and then Clink, Clang. Simple enough. I sent out Phoenix. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know Phoenix can kill those, that's no problem. Let's go try it out over here. Clefairy, Golet, and a Clang. I assume that Clang should win this pretty easily. Come on, what are you doing? Then we've got a Bisharp and a Drapion down there. You're really not winning this? What is going on? <laughs> they both just jumped over the edge. Uh. My Gliscor is hanging out down there. Can you ride Gliscor? No, you cannot. That would be pretty interesting if you could. I wouldn't assume you could. Maybe this Clang just has nothing to hit this Golet. This is quite the stalemate. They're eventually both just going to die from fall damage. <laughs> We've got a Munchlax there just hanging out. Uh, yeah, well, I give up with you two. Let's go over here. Looks like another Golet over there, yeah. I might want to catch one of those. And Snorlax is really strong, but I don't really want one. I kind of want to focus on the new stuff. And then... Drapion. There's a Gligar. What to do? There's so much new stuff. Yeah, this Golet's level 40. Let's attack it. And... Knock off. I didn't do as much as I would have liked. Thunderfang. Thun oh yeah, it's ground. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. 
And X scissor. I guess I'm gonna have to use knockoff. Nothing else really hits it much. But we also might lose Glide score, and I don't want that to happen. Let's go into. Definitely should have healed before I came out here. Sheldon's actually falling behind. Let's hit this with a Blizzard and get some experience. Nice. Okay, and then let's uh, poke a heal up. That looks like a Pygmy Why Not? And I would be interested in that because Quagsire is actually really good. Uh, let's. Do we have any status moves anymore? I don't think we do, besides burn, and I don't want to burn this thing. Let's just start throwing great balls at it. I don't think we can really wear it down before that. But I would love to have a pygmy quagsire. That would be awesome. I assume this thing's a pygmy. It looks really small. Can't confirm until I get back to the PC. Also, I don't know how hard this is going to be to catch, so this could be a minute. Hopefully it goes pretty fast. I think we finally might have it. I've thrown like 10 Pokeballs at this thing. Or not 10. <laughs> I was trying to exaggerate and I came up with a really low number. Yeah, well that took like maybe 20 or 25 Pokeballs or something. That took forever, so that was good. I used up a bunch of my random Pokeballs that were in my inventory. Okay, so what now? There's a slow bro over there. I definitely want to check out that why not before this episode ends and make sure it was a pygmy. Because pygmy quagsire is going to be really cool and really good. Ooh. Is that a lampant? I wanted one of these. Yeah. It comes right for us. Let's uh... Payback's not that strong, I don't think it'll kill. Yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. Now let's start throwing great balls. I need to go construct some more Ultra Balls pretty soon, sometime, because we haven't had any in quite a few episodes now, but yeah, if we can catch this Lampin, that's awesome. Wow, this thing's going way easier than the Why Not. First try with a Great Ball. Alright, thank you Lampin for making that easier. <laughs> uh, yes, that was easy, cool. Then a Golet. I kind of want a Golurk, and I don't think right now you can- ooh, Ladian. Cool stuff everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna go crazy and catch everything I see this episode. Uh, yeah, so that's a... What are those things called? Lampant. Yeah, so just caught a Lampant. I don't think you can evolve them into Chandelier quite yet, but as soon as you can, I really want a Chandelier. Unless they just fix that in the 3.0.2 update thing. Didn't really look at what they changed in that update, but yeah, you couldn't evolve them into Chandelier before that. Uh, apparently my Ladian got away. It's kind of a shame. I think those are pretty cool. Like, they suck, but <laughs> I think they're pretty cool design-wise as a Pokemon. And they're classic from Gen 2. Um, yeah, so let's go back, I guess. I need to get more Thunderstone Shards for Choo Choo Train as well pretty soon here, whenever I see them. Also my Gravelers aren't blue anymore. Some people told me I was an idiot and they were shiny, like, that's not how that works. All my Gravelers were blue that day. I had seen several that were blue, unless I was running into shiny Graveler after shiny Graveler. They absolutely were not shinies. Alright, this Golurk once, or Golet once killed, so let's bite it. And then, another Why Not. Snorlax, not much over here. I'm just gonna fly around and catch anything I see that's cool. Let's head back over this way. Is that a Quagsire? Yeah. Uh, this, or, I meant Wobbuffet. Have I been saying Quagsire this whole episode? I think I might have been, yeah, this, I meant Wobbuffet the whole time, so don't yell at me. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, yeah, sort of similar, but Wobbuffet, or Quagsire is not even in this mod yet, I don't think. I don't know. Whatever, let's kill this Drapion now. Sheldon should be able to handle that pretty easily. I could catch a Drapion, but I don't really want one for anything. I don't think I'd ever use it. Missed Blizzard. Good job, Sheldon. Used to be the star of the team, and now you are 
Missing all your attacks and losing to easy stuff. Cloister. You're still good though, we just need to train you up some more. I guess I'm gonna go for Giga Impact so it won't m miss. Uh, cool. Now this Snorlax wants to fight. Let's go into Gliscor here. And he's gonna use Rest immediately. That's a great play. I'm gonna Fire Fang and hope I can get a burn. What does X Scissor do? That's probably my strongest attack. I'm just gonna keep using X Scissor. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna Rest before that'll ever work. I really need Earthquake for this thing. Let's go into Rayquaza. Yeah, it's just gonna keep using Rest over and over again. Let's Air Slash. <laughs> and that took it right out. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Is that an Ivysaur? Is that what I just heard? I don't think Ivysaur spawn out here. Swear I just heard something say Ivysaur, though. Alright. Uh, we could get an Aeron. I never have gotten an Aggron on here before. That's not new, but it's still cool. I don't really care about Boldor. And Onyx sucks. Yeah, let's go for that, Aeron. And if you ever want to know how you found a shiny Aeron from far away, it has red eyes, so watch out for that. I'd like an enormous one, but I don't think I'm going to bother trying for that right now. I'm just going to catch it. Maybe if we catch an enormous one later. I just want an Aggron. That would be really cool. Probably the best Steel type in this mod right now. Actually, I'd say definitely. Clink Clang's alright if you use its status moves, but there really aren't that many. There's Scissor, I guess. Scissor's pretty good. But I can't get a Scissor on here because I can't trade, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. I think if I ever do a Season 3 of this, I'll probably just make it on a server so people can come in here and help me with stuff. Not like an actual server, but like a five-person server, so I can have them substitute for gym leaders and stuff like that. And they can come in and trade with me if I need them to. Ooh, Tropius. Yeah, might be interested in that if it doesn't despawn on me. Larvesta, also. I think that's what that called? That's called? <laughs> but it evolves into... Uh, What's that really good bug fire thing? That's gonna bother me. Why can I not think of it? Volcarona, yeah. Volcarona is really, really good. And this thing's only level 6. Let's throw some nest balls at it. Don't try to run, Larvesta. You're mine. Then I might fight that trainer, and then that's probably going to be it for this episode. I also want to go check out Why Not and the other Pokemon sizes that I just caught. Caught a lot of stuff in this episode, <laughs> so we'll have to start trying them out pretty soon. Okay, I give up. I'm going to try a Great Ball. I really need Choo Choo Train back so I can paralyze stuff. That was a really underrated part of my team, and I got rid of it for Chansey. <laughs> I love Chansey though, and I want to evolve it into a Blissey. Come on, you're level 6 Larvesta, how hard can this be? Ugh. You gonna get caught this time? Nope. Hate you Larvesta. Really? Apparently Larvesta is the hardest Pokemon to catch in the entire mod. I have less trouble with Legendaries than I do with this. Look at this thing, it's just breaking out every time within seconds. Uh, yeah. Maybe Nest Balls would be better. Don't know. They're good for catching, like, weak bug Pokemon. Or they're supposed to be, at least. That's not even shaking. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, caught it that time. Cool. And something just fell around me. I heard the sound effect. Alright, well, I think that's good for an episode. We caught, like, everything. <laughs> we caught pretty much all the cool stuff from this update. I need a Bagon still, though. Those evolve into Salamence, and Salamence is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the tower. I will see you in one second.
Alright, so we caught a Why Not, Aaron, Larvesta, and Lampin. So let's start with Larvesta. It's got. Its growth is ordinary, and it's just got String Shot and Ember, but hey, Ember on a level 6 Pokemon isn't too bad. Lampent is level 44 already. It is ordinary size as well, with Hex, Nightshade, Fire Spin, and Astonish. I can work with that. It could use a couple better moves. Aeron is level 24. Growth is enormous. Wow, I didn't expect that when I saw it. Uh, take down headbutt, mud slap, and harden, so its moveset is already pretty good. That's really cool. Maybe the new Aeron model made its size look a little smaller to me. I thought they were bigger. And then why not? Is a pygmy. Awesome. With Encore, Charm, and Splash. Three awful moves, so we'll have to work on that. But yeah, caught a enormous Aeron and a pygmy. Why not? That's really awesome. So... How about you guys give me a nickname for Why Not in the comments below this time. Pick me Why Not. So yeah, I'll update all the nicknames before the next episode, or during the next episode I mean. And I will see you then guys, thank you for watching.